Hello everyone, and it is my pleasure to welcome you back to From the Depth Season 2 by popular request. And the fact that, you know, a lot of people wanted me to play From the Depth again, and your response was nice to see, don't get me wrong. Almost everyone wanted me to start over, so we are going to start over, but we will be using the same profile. We will be limiting, uh... I got the wrong button there. We will be limiting the, uh... The points by just a bit. For example, we'll start out with no points invested, and as we go on, we will slowly invest them. Basically, as we kill stuff. We'll be using the same weapons, etc., but we'll try not to rely on old designs too much. And we will be playing on a bit easier difficulty because time is a premium, let's be honest, and. I'd rather not spend everything on making perfect designs. We'll be playing against regular designs, just on one. We'll tweak this down to point two. Enemy growth factor. We'll leave. We'll leave that as is. There we go. We'll use localized resources because I like the thought of localized resources more than centralized. And we'll do a global quest for Nether again. Or Nether. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Quest for Nether. Yeah. We'll just go with Nether. Quest for Nether. There we go. New campaign. There we go. So we will be starting up on our starting raft once again. Things seem to be running smoothly as... No, my PC is having a bit of a time with it, so I will be right back and see if that is because of the game itself or just because of something running in the background refusing to cooperate. And just checking now, everything seems to be running smoothly again. So there we go. We wanna... we could rebuild this. That's a turret I'm standing on. That explains the sudden head motion. But I don't want to spend too much attention on this, mostly because I don't have a lot of time to record right now. That's very unfortunate all, but I have a busy day, and the computer wasn't cooperating. So I have a very short limited amount of time to record this episode, and get some Kerbal Space Program mods, and start recording Kerbal Space Program. And then there's a stream tonight for four hours, so that's going to be a lot of fun. If you're watching this when it goes live, we'll be streaming some more Stellaris, so that will be a lot of fun. This is our little starting boat. It is terrible. We will salvage it for parts. If we just tell it here to go lead itself, that would be great. Retrofit just to lead. All oh, right, that's. Uh, I haven't played in a while, so there we go. Goodbye. We'll build a quick starting boat, and then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call it. A, like I really don't have a lot of time right now. But thankfully we are playing on a bit of easier difficulty, so we don't have to make everything look perfect. We'll upgrade the resource capacity here right away, that seems like a smart idea. Don't need too much crystal. Actually, they did just increase the amount of like appliances crystal has, so there is that. So that's good. That will be most useful in trying to do things. There we go. Anything else that needs upgrading? Natural could use a boost. Oh right, we forgot to... Uh... See, I don't really like to have the... Oh, it's still on. Okay, good. I don't like playing on the pre-nerfed values all that much. You might disagree, and that is your opinion. I like to play with max resources fitting in because, well, honestly, I felt like the nerf was a bit too punishing. Some people might like it. I definitely don't. Opinions, ma uh, opinions can be different and everything, and that is great. There we go. Get it to fit a little better. And everything should be upgraded now. That's good. We'll have some more storage capacity here. There we go. I like to be able to keep some stuff in our fortress. Now we can probably get away with 
placing a couple more on the side here. Resource gatherers, there we go. Not gonna fit too many on the side right now. What we will do is probably put a... I don't know, we could just go for full engine power since we are of course on top of the oil refinery here so or at least we are getting oil out of the zone it's unlimited reserves so we could just go ahead and fully abuse the engine to get resources or we can go ahead and put some radioisotopic thermal generators on top or basically RTG RTGs which would help us a lot of power in the engines as well without having to resort to fuel. Although it does take up a lot of crystal, which to be fair isn't that bad a purchase. Actually it might be. But we can put one over here. That will help produce more power, keep us in the air and all that. We're still gaining oil I believe so that's not going to be any issue whatsoever. Switch these boots off, there we go, get it some better jump height. And now we can upgrade the crystal tray, which actually looks a lot better now, I'm not gonna lie. That looks cool. Like actual crystal. That's gonna help us reproduce crystal. Which might not be a bad thing, let's temporarily put one of you over here. And then just build a giant tower. God, I love the overhaul they did on it, seriously. Really good. There we go. Heard you need some crystal. There you go. We could make it higher. We probably will. Like, this is just temporarily to get us off the ground. Not like a skyscraper form, but, you know. Just get some. We're all gonna get that back anyway. That's gonna help us get some crystal off the ground so we can get RTGs. Just fire it, just to make sure that the barrel is smooth enough. Uh, advanced cannon, barrel, muzzle brake. Like, we are not gonna use the fortress in this form. We will be overhauling it. We are literally just using this to get off the ground. And the RTG down below has made sure that we get enough resources. There we go. What do you mean you're running at less efficiency? You should be using battery power. Come on. Everyone knows that. Or they balance it so that the resource gatherers will not actually use that. Which would be extremely unfortunate. <laughs> I would sort of understand why. This is a little bit overkill, is it not? Yeah, you do not run on RTGs, unfortunately. Means we're going to have to upgrade the engine next, then. That's fine. Do a little bit of that, right? Actually doesn't have a lot of effect Probably because this whole thing is built in a mess It's space efficient but I wouldn't Anyway whatsoever call it a good engine But we'll run with it Because we pretty much have to go that gets us a little bit of engine power it's not very if that is not very efficient but oh it has a flame out effect now that is good that's new I like it a lot of changes that I still have to get used to here but mostly we're just running a resource gathering operation here might actually have to go back and just do something about the cooling because that was a little bit much, I'm not gonna lie. We are sort of pushing it a bit too hard. There you go, you now have things connected up to you. Is that enough to help you cool? I have no idea. Hope so, doubt it. We'll see, I guess, when it's done. 
Oh, there we go. It is not going to be enough. There you go. And exhaust, they don't matter at all. Like, hardly any use cooling in my, in my experience. They're cool, definitely, but I don't have a lot of, like, use to them. Except for making your ship look more organized and pretty, I guess. Where is the electric engine on this? It's up above, isn't it? Yep, that's the, uh, the Hearthstone. We don't need trading card games over here. Ah, there you are. Our output. Yeah, we'd like a lot of power at low efficiency. Actually, putting down more of. Could we link up multiple electric batteries? Yeah. What we can do, however, is just make a large electric engine down here. Hidden from the eye of the public. And uh, battery. Make it a medium, I guess. Just a large. There you go. That should help. You are running a little more efficient, so yeah, you can actually run off electric engines and RTGs. That's good, because we are now building up crystal. Let's replace you with a 4 meter one. There! Innovation! Efficiency! Power! Not quite unlimited power yet, but yeah, we are actually getting running higher now, so that's good, that's gonna allow us to run more resource gatherers at full efficiency which will mean we'll get more stuff and we haven't actually ventured out yet, we don't know, actually know that the Deep Water Guard are around we know they exist, because according to Fluff, we are a splinter group from the uh, Deep Water Guard very splintery but as of right now, we're just doing our thing right now I think right now a lot the moment. Haha, <laughs> I didn't fall into the trap there. 94. So yeah, electric engines, they uh, give you more engine power if you. Uh, the more power there is in the batteries, basically. So that will be good for us. We'll get rid of that high tower soon. I promise. And then uh, we'll revamp the entire fortress. As of right now, we are literally just. Trying to build up as much crystal as we can for RTGs, etc. I think they'll play a big part in our fleet, actually. Because, well, there's nothing quite like efficiency in my book. And never having to build any oil refineries will drastically allow us to cut down on the use of fuel. And I don't know, they might... RTGs might not be the best space efficient wise, but they are sure Clockwise, a lot more efficient than large fuel engines. So yeah, we'll have a look at that, see how that changes our designs. We might use our older designs, but we will revamp them in a way, so to keep things unique. Still running at roughly 94% now. We're waiting for more crystal, basically, as Dawn is setting on our new resource-hungry fortress. Got this little battery charging and running and everything. He's trying his best, bless him. I think we've found an equilibrium, roughly. I think it might actually be good to tell the engines to stop charging the batteries. So that they can purely focus on the things. Battery charge should be handled by the RTGs. Yeah, it is actually making the pumps run more efficient, so we nearly have enough crystal for more RTGs. Speaking of, hello. You should now be able to output at a small amount of temperature. We are actually losing battery charge now, but eh, we should be fine. Should be fine, of course. Actually, let's temporarily get rid of you. 
you that we actually have some crystal to generate crystal with. It's a controversial call, I'm sure, but it should be fine. There we go, we're still generating some power now. And we're actually generating crystal at a sort of higher capacity. Anyway, this is just me gonna be... It's just gonna be me resource efficiency wising it a bit, so... I'll do some work on the fortress off camera. But that is gonna be it for this episode. Just introductory announcing that we're gonna be playing on a bit of easier difficulty. We might be rehashing designs, but we will be revamping them if we do. We will not be copy pasting anything into the current campaign. They just use it willy nilly. Like I won't be relying as much on a battleship, that's for sure. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, you're relying on that a little too much and it's sort of getting samey. Which I completely understand, don't get me wrong. I get that it was just the battleship fighting other things and then more battleship and then oh guess what? Battleship. I know, I wanna experiment a bit more with less realistic looking planes and ships. Like, last campaign was all about trying to make things a bit look realistic, look plausible in a way, which is my de facto build mode. So this campaign is going to be a bit more unrealistic designs, hopefully. Or at least that's what I'm aiming for. So I hope that's going to be a fun campaign to watch. I'm not sure how long it's going to go on. I will definitely aim for a reasonable amount of episodes. But it depends on the amount of games that I've got coming up that I really want to cover. Depends on how much time I have to actually put into this. Like, don't get me wrong, YouTube is fun, but it's just a hobby and other things have to take priority, of course. So we'll see how it goes. I won't make any promises that I might not be able to keep, but I'll definitely try to keep one episode coming out every other day. And hopefully it will actually have some content in it instead of me just walking around this fortress placing resource gatherers and yammering on a bit about stuff. Yeah, from that, it's back, it's glorious, hopefully, and starting next episode, we'll have some interesting things, I promise. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, I don't know, introductory video, after the introductory video announcing that it's back, then do leave a like down below. From the depths, it's going to be a lot of fun, hopefully, and you guys will enjoy it, aside from this huge skyscraper of crystal. Anyway. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say, and until next time, have a good one folks!